Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Saturday afternoon live on Spiritual Events Directory. My name is Emma Wax and I'm a subconscious healer. Thank you for joining me. Just going to wait for a few others to join us. I'm just going to get the feeds up. Make sure I can see your comments. Hello everyone, if you're there, let us know you're here, share a comment, share your name, where you're from, we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Wonderful. Perfect. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Kerry. So wonderful to have you here. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Perfect. If you're joining us from Find Time and Space, thank you for joining as well. That's wonderful. Got you all here. Perfect. So good to have you all here. Thank you so much. My name is Emma Wax and I'm the founder of Find Time in Space. And today I'm going to be offering free live demonstrations of subconscious healing. And with subconscious healing, what we are achieving is the ability to identify the deepest root cause of any challenge or difficulty in your life and we create a shift here at the subconscious level. So when we're exploring intuitively the subconscious mind, what we're actually exploring is the creation point of all things that we experience. So positive or negative, it doesn't matter. All things have begun somewhere. And for us, exploring the subconscious mind is exactly how we identify where things have begun for us. So the energy of the subconscious mind is, is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, exploration. It's such a magical journey that we come up against when we are exploring things from the creation point. Sometimes it can be a tad um, scary and we may feel a bit of fear around doing so, but the more time that I've spent in the subconscious mind and in the energy of the subconscious mind, the more I've actually seen that it's actually not scary at all, as long as we feel safe with the process that we're utilizing in order to go down that path. So subconscious healing offers that for you because um, you may have noticed this already just by listening to me, but as I guide people through this transformation, I raise their vibration and I lift them up into a space where they can then connect in intuitively and start um, exploring their subconscious mind and exploring their intuitive connection and receiving messages alongside of that. So with subconscious healing, we're offering so much more than just the ability to be able to heal and the ability to be able to clear limitations from your life. I'm also offering you the chance to become the empowered leader of your own healing journey as well. And the way that I do this is by guiding you through an intuitive growth process where we start to shift and clear and transform um, any limitations that are in the way of you becoming the best possible version of yourself. And so for me personally, um, I was somebody who was struggling very, very, very heavily with self-destructive behaviors, with um, addictions, with alcoholism. Um, I've struggled attracting positive relationships into my life. And all of that has become something of the past and almost something that I don't even really remember anymore because I've found a new version to live my life by, a new version of me that I have become that is so wonderful. It's allowed me to 
um, run a successful wellness business and be able to receive abundantly for my time and have a balanced um you know, a balanced approach to my business. So a beautiful journey of being able to let go of anything in your life that's no longer serving you and being able to open up to receiving the life that you never even saw possible for yourself is there for anybody who is ready and willing to explore that as well. So no matter where you're at with subconscious healing, whether this is your very first time exploring this or whether you um, are fairly familiar and you've connected with me in the past and we've done some work, today I'm offering up the opportunity for you to experience subconscious healing and receive a shift, um, an energetic shift beneath the surface. So um, thanks for joining, guys. Hi, Denise. It's so beautiful to have you here. Hi, Johnny. Good to have you back. And Kim's from WA. Thanks for being here, Kim. Hi, Fiona's in Melbourne <clears throat> at home without her mask on. Very good to hear. <laughs> Krista, hello, is in North Brisbane. So glad to have you here. Sharon's from WA. So good to have you here. And thank you again, Kerry, for joining us. Harry's just recently started doing some sessions and is absolutely loving it. I cannot wait to see you again, Kerry. Wonderful. It's so good to have you here and everybody else who's joined us as well. So um, what we can do from now on, if you have any, um, if you've been struggling with anything in your life recently, or if you have um, been experiencing a past pattern that seems to be reoccurring um, I would love to offer up the opportunity to clear a limiting belief for you all today um, hi Bailey so beautiful to have you here <laughs> hope you're doing well um, so yeah so um, what I usually um, offer is the space to shift and clear Anything that you would love to, Tanya's very excited for some guidance, absolutely, and she's from the UK, wonderful, yes, so um, uh, I offer the opportunity for you to have a limitation cleared, so whenever you're ready, feel free to share into the comment section of the chat section anything that you've been struggling with recently, any um, challenges or difficulties in your life, nothing is too big or small when it comes to transforming with this energy and it just takes a moment to clear a limitation. So um, feel free to send through anything, no matter how long it's been in your life for, no matter how big it may seem and how difficult it may feel to overcome. Um, I welcome you all to pop it into the comment section um, and I can tune in intuitively and identify what the deepest root cause of that is for you. If it's in the highest good, we'll have a bit of a minute to shift today as well. Something that I do offer as well is that as other people are sharing things into the comment section, if you're also resonating with what they've shared, then absolutely um, allow for any shifts to occur for you from that space as well. Um, I'm always holding a beautiful space for anyone to have any shifts that are in the highest good. So um, that is possible for you as well. If you're not sure exactly what it is you would like to work on today, but you're like, hmm, my relationships could be better, or there's a particular area of your life, like your finances or your health, um, <clears throat> or exploring your life purpose or your career, um, if this is something that um, you are wanting to um, explore and, and receive healing on, then absolutely pop it into the comment section and I would love to tune in for you all. If anybody's experiencing similar things, um, I'll be tuning in on you together just so that we make sure that we can get through as many as possible because sometimes I run out of time when I do tune-ins individually. <laughs> And I'd like to reach all of you if possible. Hi, Stefan. So great to have you here. And Lynn's from Melbourne. So wonderful to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. So beautiful to have you all here. Okay. So thanks everyone who started to share. Um, feel free to follow on anyone else who's just joined us. You're more than welcome to share any difficulty or challenge you've been experiencing. And I'm going to tune in and identify the deepest root cause of that for you. Bailey, I've been struggling with some boundaries. He, he, he. Oh, thank you for sharing, Bailey. Um, Bailey said some little he, he, he's because we've visited this before for her. So this is perfect because she must be at the next level, ready to receive the next level of intuition around this for her. So congratulations. 
Wonderful. Let's tune in for you, Bailey, and see what's there. Oh, you're beautifully clear. I can really tell that you've put these subconscious healing techniques to good use. So well done. <laughs> Very super clear. So what I'm actually sensing now is um, something beneath the surface of anything that you have been currently experiencing um, or beneath the surface of anything from this current lifetime, if that makes sense. So for you, what I'm seeing is a societal limitation and it almost feels as though this is an interesting thing for you because it's not something that you have um, particularly struggled with in a huge way in your life, but it is creating a fairly big impact for you now. So I kind of see you a little bit, you know, you've been trying to figure this out and, and I know how intuitively blessed you are. So um, I can see why there may have been a bit of confusion as you're sort of exploring this. Um, and so the confusion's only there because the mind wants to say something happened in my life in order to allow for this to occur and be a struggle for me in my life. But that is the non-truth for you, Bailey. So what I am seeing is that the, the limitation is there purely just because um, society says that we have issues with this and because society has taught us what it means to have healthy boundaries. So for you, what is at the very, very root core of cause of all of this is again, looking at where was it in my childhood where I stopped believing in myself and I started believing the story that everybody else has either told me or that everybody else has lived. So for you, we just needed to tweak your intuitive awareness and just, um, you know, bring you back to that particular point. And I feel that if you're clear from here, you will have an absolute complete transformation on this issue for yourself so congratulations let me know how that goes for you um, it feels as though that's going to shift quite nicely for you and um, just do a nice ego mind clear as well as you're completing that process and integrate the absolute truth that's amazing congratulations oh it's going to be so good to be free from that one <laughs> Well done. So if anyone is watching, Bailey's done a fair bit of this work. So if any of that didn't make sense to you, don't worry. Um, Denise, root chakra blockage. Oh, that's such a good one, Denise. Let's have a look and see what's beneath the surface there for you. So straight away, I got the word foundation. I feel as though for you, Denise, it's the root chakra blockage. This is symbolic of feeling as though you're not grounded in a firm foundation in your life. So it feels as though there's a myriad of different, um, you know, things that have been going on for you lately and stresses that may be contributing to having um, a difficult time. Um, but what I am seeing is that, again, we want to look beneath the surface and have a look at what is creating this blockage. Because I almost see that for you, there's been a tad bit of judgment there. And so because you're judging yourself for having a blockage, you haven't been able to have a realization on this and be able to clear it in its fullest. So let me know if that's making sense for you. Um, and what I would love to do for you is, is do a nice um, subconscious shift for you. So I'm just going into the subconscious mind, clearing up anything that's ready to go, anything that's in the highest good. And if anybody else is experiencing a root chakra blockage, please feel free to have this shift as well. Just shifting and clearing anything that's in the highest good, anything you're ready to let go of. It's as though the mind wants to bring so much into the space right now, right? Because it's it wants to say, this is what it means to be secure. This is what it means to have a safe environment for myself. This is what it means to be able to create a life for myself and my family. Um, these are the sorts of things that are um, you know, showing up for you all in your lives, but what's actually beneath the surface of this. 
is that we're struggling to give ourselves that support, that, that comfortable and secure foundation in order to be able to move forward. So letting go from this space is going to allow for all of those other pressures in your life to just slowly start clearing. And we're going to be able to clear all that's in the highest good for you in this moment. It's feeling wonderful. And if anybody has any emotional connections to this, allow for emotion to float into the space just for a moment. You'll notice it'll float in and then sort of disappear again just as quickly as it came in. That's all I can do. Perfect, right? How amazing. How many hours did we save from not having to cry in the shower or laying in bed with chocolate? <laughs> We've been able to make, create a nice big shift just by identifying the root cause and being able to allow for our vibration to be and our energy to be in a safe and supportive space. I'm so grateful to be able to share that for you all. Denise is saying, yes, it's resonating for her. Wonderful. I hope that's been a beautiful shift for you, Denise. Thank you so, so much for sharing. Kimmy, hello. I'm struggling with motivation and self-worth. Wonderful. I'm feeling called to let everybody know right now that if you're wanting to explore this further, um, you can book in for me, uh, book in for a session with me. I've just shared that link into the comment section um, in case you'd like to explore this further. Kimmy, I'm struggling with motivation and self-worth. That's a wonderful thing to bring up. Thank you, Kimmy. Let's see what we can do in order to shift and clear this for you and for anybody else that may be struggling with this at the moment. So for you, Kimmy, I'm actually feeling this in the heart space. It feels as though there's a fair bit of heartbreak that has triggered these two things for you. Um, so let me know if that's resonating for you. Others on this um, call may have slightly different triggers. So see if you can identify what is your trigger? What is the thing that, that stimulates the um, lack of motivation and lack of self-worth? What we're going to do now is go into the subconscious mind and we're going to create a shift in the on the deepest root cause of this. Because what we're experiencing in the heart space or heart space or the heartache or whatever other difficulty or challenge this has created for you, um, this isn't the absolute, this isn't the root of it. We want to go beneath the surface and surface and explore the root cause. So for you, Kimmy, I feel that at about the age of two years old, it feels as though. Um, the energy of this limitation started to it started to become present for you and I'm getting that there was a fair bit of um, anger in the family home and I'm seeing that um, there was a see that you were fairly well protected from this but um, so it may not have been um, something that you had to deal with so to speak but I do feel that there was a lot of that energy around you in your family. So what I'm seeing is that for you, this has um, created this stress in your energy, in your energetic field and in your body. And so from about this age, I see it that it became very difficult for you to feel confident because when this started becoming something that was a part of your life, um, it actually feels as though um, the self-doubt set in here. And it was this, this really deep doubt about, oh my gosh, why am I here? Why am I having to struggle with this sort of intensity? And, um, you know, what, what is it that I'm to do about this? And I see you looking in many different directions and not having the right answer. And it's because your parents, your family at that time, majority of society, they also did not have the answer. 
So the truth I'm getting is that it doesn't mean that that answer is out of reach for you today. You can absolutely find that answer again. And all we need to do is connect you with your truth, with your intuitive self and realign you. So as we're shifting and clearing that deep um, limitation, you know, that deep doubt in, you know, why am I here? What am I experiencing? This is something many of us have, right, beneath the surface. So many of the things that we stress about in our lives these days, they'd be so easy for us to move through, wouldn't we, if we didn't have this heavy burden beneath the surface, if we didn't have the burden of, oh, my gosh, why am I struggling? And feeling that fear of not really knowing who we should be or where we should be or, or what it is that we want to be experiencing as these magical beings here on earth because so many of the difficulties that we experience as children they are adult you know emotions and very complicated um, situations and for children you know they don't make a whole lot of sense you know it can be very difficult for children to start to understand their emotions and it's because they just don't have the life experience behind them in order to have you know, the, the same level of complicated emotions that we may have. And this should be a good thing. Um, so if we found a positive way of being able to bring in this light and this truth for children before they need to go down the road that, you know, we have all been on and that our parents have all been on and so on, then we clear decades of resistance out of their lives. And there's nothing stopping us from being able to do this for ourselves now. So for anyone that this is resonating for, feel free to just close your eyes for a moment and just take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And you're just going to let go of the journey you've had up until now. go of anything and everything that's there to just say goodbye to. Well done. Letting go of any heartache that we've had to suffer with time and time again from having to come up against these same old regular cycles not being able to find our clarity, not being able to help ourselves. Perfect. And so now that that's been cleared, we want to bring in some truth. So I'm going to bring in for you all the energy of your true selves. And this is going to be the energy that you were born here with. energy that you brought into this lifetime and allow for it to integrate you may start to feel this flowing in through the top of your head into your body you may not be feeling it at all as well that's okay you may be having intuitive insights or seeing visions around who you truly were when you were born why you're here. And you'll notice that clearing and healing just gets a whole lot lighter and easier once we focus on the bliss of this process. We focus on what we're bringing into our life. Well done. Denise is saying she feels lighter. That's wonderful. Thank you. 
Tammy is saying, thank you for all you do. She understands all this work. I need to conquer this within myself. Thank you. My pleasure, Tanya. Thank you. Please reach out to me for a session. I would love to connect with you. Kim is saying, wow, that's very true and spot on. That's so great to hear, Kimmy, that we've been able to open this up for you. I can feel so much has shifted for you in the heart space. So congratulations. I'm so glad that you've been able to release some of that heartache and that emotion. Well done. And I'd love to hear anybody else that's been experiencing some of these shifts, feel free to share what you've experienced in the comment section. It's feeling wonderful for you all. Isn't it lovely how much we can shift in such a short, brief moment of time and space? <laughs> wonderful. Okay, let's see the next one. Ruthie, my communication with others and relationships, please. Oh, that's such a wonderful topic, Ruthie. Thank you for sharing. Let's see what's beneath the surface of this one for you. Okay, so Ruthie, it's so beautiful connecting with your energy. Straight away, I feel this bright, bubbly, joyful person, and it's so super wonderful. Um, and so I can also see how much of a burden it feels for you when you feel as though those communication blockages are there and you haven't, it's as though people haven't been able to see you for who you really are. So what's been really um, the interesting about connecting with your energy is that this is something that is a natural gift of yours, being able to um, affect people in a positive way and be able to experience joy and happiness and connect and communicate with them in that way. But it's also been one of your biggest struggles in life. And so I sort of see that for you, it feels like you've been going up and down and up and down with this, having pretty high highs, but also some very low lows, um, some very extroverted moments and some very introverted moments. Um, and so to me, what this is showing me is that you are, um, you are starting to have subconscious shifts. But because we haven't been able to create a safe space for you yet and you haven't been able to find that within yourself, um, there's still a bit of this happening in the journey. So let me know if that's resonating for you. Um, but what I am seeing is that we want to be able to forget the journey up until now, if possible. So just allow yourself to breathe in and out and just let some of that go of that energy shifting for you. Just completely letting it go. It's almost as if you're having a bit of an, an amnesia because so much of what your mind is saying to you about your relationship connections is that there are failures there. It's wanting to call you a failure, which is so not true. You're a beautiful, loving and supportive person. And I see so many people in your life seeing you this way. So the only thing that's in the way of you being able to be joyful or in a neutral space where there's something for you to work through um you know is your self-belief within yourself and the mind has created a whole lot of stories around this and that's what we're shifting and going for you today and anybody else who's been experiencing this as well Ruthie's saying definitely yes perfect and Stephanie's saying thank you my pleasure and Sandy's saying thank you as well she's feeling much lighter Hi, Lorraine, wonderful to have you here. And Carrie is also resonating with the lack of motivation. Wonderful. And Kimmy's going to contact me. I cannot wait to connect with you, Kimmy. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, so that was a really fast and big shift for you, Ruthie. Um, it's happened in just a moment, though. So, um, I feel that that shift is done. All we need to do now is just um, 
integrated truth for you because the mind is sort of um, not quite ready to believe that we could have created such a big shift for you in such a short amount of time, <laughs> which I understand, right? The ex life experience has taught us the opposite. Um, so I'm just going to bring in the truth that, um, you know, your past experiences don't define you. So there is no need to carry those around and use those as a guide of how to be in the world. And that's an opening up a relief for you because it feels as though you've been aware of this for some time but haven't quite been able to have this sort of shift in its fullest. And this is why, because there was a limitation blocking in your ability to be able to receive all that's there for you in any given moment. So from now on, just know that whenever you're ready to receive a shift that's in the highest good for you, you will be provided with the perfect person or the perfect situation or the perfect um, energetic, um, the perfect meditative or healing or energetic space in order to be able to allow for that to happen. If you ever get um, if you're blocked with that, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to connect with you. Wonderful. Krista, pushing potential partners away. That's an interesting one. Thank you for sharing, Krista. Let's have a look. Okay, so for you, Krista, it almost feels as though there's been a bit of heaviness around your relationships in the past. So this is what's being triggered for you each time that you go to connect with a potential partner. There's a um, certain level of not being able to believe um, in the fact that things could be different. And so what's interesting is that the reason why this is sort of a stagnant issue for you is because on some level this is true, right? If we haven't been able to subconsciously shift the um, reasons for attracting in past relationships that were not serving you, then you are going to be attracting somewhat of the same experience into your life. However, one way of having this sort of shift is by going into the unknown, into a relationship with a new person and being able to learn from them. So for you, Krista, there's a question that feels as though it wants to come through for you and it wants me to ask you, um, these potential people, um, how much can you learn from them? What is their to be gained through having a relationship experience with them? And can you trust yourself to be able to go there and purely have that experience and that's all? Because these potential partners may be coming in your life to be able to teach you something, but if you're trans transforming and you're working on yourself and you're moving through these specific things at a very fast rate, then it may not be in the highest good to play out a full relationship with this person. So I believe this is what has been confusing you is that you're seeing elements of this relationship that could really work and elements of these relationships that are quite scary and that are triggering things for you. Um, so it's created confusion and because of that confusion, you're not feeling safe and you're not feeling comfortable with your ability to keep yourself safe in the relationship that you're in. So this truth is, I believe, what you're searching for. It's knowing that if you can see what their purpose is for you and you can trust yourself to be in the relationship for just long enough for you to learn whatever there is to learn, then you can explore that relationship comfortably and safely. But if that's not feeling like something that you could do, then it's time to receive support for somebody from somebody um, on that topic. And I would love to work with you on that if this is something you'd like to explore. Um, so 
yes, um, definitely send me a message and um, or jump onto my website and book in for a subconscious healing session. Um, my first sessions are just a hundred dollars. So um, as you can see today, we've able we've been able to shift so much in such a short period of time. So if anyone is ex wanting to explore this. Um, you know, explore subconscious healing and um, you're looking to have a nice grand shift, just a hundred dollars to have a nice big shift in every area of your life and um, and it allow for you to explore subconscious healing. Um, so I'm just going to pop that into the comment section here for anyone who's looking to um, explore that. And also um, the Subconscious Healing Expo is coming up towards the end of the month and I always offer specials during those expos as well. So um, definitely join us for those if you'd like to explore that. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so, so much, everyone who's joined. Bruce is saying, wow, thank you so much. It actually felt fuzzy. It was incredible. Wonderful. Happiness by Pharrell Williams. Oh, that is the best song, isn't it? So good. So wonderful. <laughs> Perfect. So Krista, let me just check in and see that you've finished integrating. Yeah, it's interesting, Krista, because there's a tad more that needs to be done. So I highly recommend connecting in with me for a session and we can complete that shift for you. Um, but I love that we've been able to give you a clear focus today on what to look at moving forward. Um, so thank you for sharing and thank you for being here. That's wonderful. I look forward to connecting with you. Sharon, my life is like constantly like living on the edge, always on the move. Um, from the day I was born, I feel like I have some trouble trying to walk. I've had so many challenges thrown at me. I've learned so much through them, and I know the universe has been helping me, but I'm energetically tired. Oh, I know that feeling, Sharon. Thank you for sharing. And um, absolutely, I know that feeling. And actually, just before I had come across um, subconscious healing, I was in that exact same space because I felt like I had tried everything and I was working and, you know, doing everything I could in order to be able to support myself. Um, and I just kind of found that, you know, yes, I was having shifts and I was helping myself, but it started to get so tiring because there was so much action that needed to be taken. And, you know, I was still trying to fit in elements of my old life with elements of this new, you know, supportive, self-loving, you know, life that I was creating. And it just, it did, it completely wore me out attempting to do everything. So let's see what we can do in order to relieve you of that pressure. Because straight away, as I connect in with you energetically, Sharon, I can see that this pressure is being created for you purely by your ego mind's energy. So let me explain a little bit about the ego mind for us all, because when we look at the ego mind, um, or usually when I refer to the ego mind energy, what I am referring to is um, all of the um thoughts or feelings or limitations or memories or past experiences, um, basically anything in our life that is less than amazing is there because at some point we've created a story around this sort of thing. So um, when we're born into this existence, majority of us don't have an ego mind energy, but over time, as we start to become aware of what it is that society expects of us and we start to explore what it is that society truly, um, you know, wants from us um, and what our parents want from us, what our family wants from us, what our, you know, dearest and closest um, friends want from us, we start to lose sight of what's actually good for us. Um, so it feels like for you, Sharon, this is a bit of what's happening for you. It's as though life experience has taught you that these are all of the things that you do in order to keep yourself safe and happy and living a fulfilled life. 
But what's happened is that so many of those things are only there purely just because this is what everybody else does. And you have set a goal to be able to achieve a certain um, life for yourself. And it almost feels as though you're struggling to quite get there because there's so much that's got to be done in order to get there. Um, so this is um, happening for you because um, so much of what you're striving for at the moment, it's not aligned with your truth and with who you really are. And therefore, it's not supportive for you. So this is why it's tiring and this is why it's draining. And if we were to explore all of the little energetic connections that are allowing this into your life, then, you know, we may never actually get to the point of clearing because there would be so many. Um, but what we can do is shift all of this in, an, in its entirety in just a moment by allowing for us to go into the subconscious mind and identify what the deepest root cause is of this particular challenge in your life. So that's what we're going to do for you now and anybody else who's experiencing this. And so Sharon, it feels like for you, there's just some difficulty around feeling comfortable when you're still. There's been this fear that's integrated for you when you were quite young. I'm getting as young as um, about 18 months old, between 18 and 19 months old. Um, this limitation was created for you and you started receiving fear of the unknown. Perfect. So I can feel that we've reached that now. We've been able to create some relief for you because we've found the root cause of all of those things now we can allow for a complete shift to happen. So let us know how you're going with that. And I'm going to allow for that to continue processing as we continue tuning in for people. So if anybody um, has um, just joined us, feel free to um, share into the comments section any challenges or difficulties in your life and I'm here to identify the deepest root cause of it and if it's in the highest good create a shift for you today. Um, Chris is saying thank you that made total sense have come out of a 25 year um, abusive relationship. Okay wonderful I'm so glad we were able to shift that for you Krista that's wonderful. Perfect so yes um, Sandy, feel free to share any area of your life that you'd like me to have a look at. Um, anybody else who's just joined us, share an area of your life that you um, wish could be better um, or share a challenge or difficulty specifically um, in your life that you'd like to have some subconscious limitations cleared around. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining everyone. Um, Amy felt some layers of heaviness and sadness shift. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, beautiful. So great to have you. And Dorji's here from Bhutan. Hi, so great to have you here. Wonderful. And Lynn is resonating as well. That's so great. Okay, let's have a look who is next. Sophie, so beautiful to have you here, Sophie. <laughs> Anxiety and worry. Ah, oh, what wonderful topics to bring up. Let's have a look and see what's beneath the surface of that one for Sophie. If anybody else who has just joined us resonates with experiencing anxiety and worry, um, please feel free to have a shift alongside of Sophie. We're going to be clearing limitations beneath the surface from the subconscious mind. So you may or may not feel this shift. You may start intuitively what's being cleared. Um, you may just be in a nice light and blissful space. All of these things are okay. Um, so however it is that we come to shifting and clearing this for you is perfect. One of the things that I love about subconscious healing is that we don't, um, you know, ensure that this is done in a certain way. We allow for each and every person to have a shift in whatever way is perfect for them. So 
please feel free to shift alongside of these tune-ins and of course share anything into the comment section if you'd like me to tune in. We've got about 15 minutes left so I should be able to do a few more. We're going to have a look at anxiety and worry for beautiful Sophie. And I know how much work she's done on herself so I can already sense that it's just going to be a matter of guiding her to that nice deepest root cause beneath the surface there. Wonderful. So for you, Sophie, it feels as though we're looking fairly deep now. We're looking into the structure of all that you are. Um, as a DNA healer, I understand that that is, um, of course, the place that you'll be shifting from. And so what I am seeing is that the root cause of this is it's it's the fear that, I, that seems to keep drawing you back in to these um, experiences of anxiety. So what I mean by that is your past memories of fear. So um, what's happening as you go about your day is you're clearing things and you've been using subconscious healing and so many other techniques, which is amazing. Uh, but it does feel as though um, as things are popping up in your life, every now and then it's triggering a memory or it's triggering something from your past. So it feels as though this is what's keeping that alive for you. And so what we're doing now is we're going into the structure of all that you are. And if anybody else is ready for this, please um, allow for yourself to have this shift to. We're going into beneath the surface, into the structure of all that you are and looking at the limitation that says that we need to hold on to memories. Because holding on to our memories, holding on to our identity, holding on to that part of us that wants to guide the ship, it creates so, so, so many difficulties in our lives that are just completely unnecessary once we have the tools to be able to clear. So again, I feel that for you, Sophie, because you're such an evolved and magical being, you have been slightly on judgment on yourself because you've been feeling um, guilty or unhappy about who you are when these things come up. But from what I'm seeing, the truth is that everybody in your life absolutely loves the calmness about you, the beautiful you know, peace and calmness that you bring into the room, that your energy brings into the room. So allow for yourself to integrate that truth, lift off the pressure and anything else that's been allowing you to punish yourself. And at the same time, we're just letting go of your identity, the part of you that's wanting to, I almost see it's like your identity is this pole and it's like you're wrapped around this pole and you're not wanting to let go, you know, because without that, you become someone who suffers with things, but, you know, then isn't safe is what the mind is saying. It's complete non-truth because it's that pole that's creating the situation in the first place. So if you're able to let go of the pole and just step onto the ground, then you'll be safe. love how tune-ins come in for you Sophie that's so wonderful so for anybody else who's allowing for this to sort of shift just allow for yourself to just let go of your identity let go of that part of you that's been holding you back and saying that you need a support system because the truth is is that when you have your all-knowing complete self and truth and you have two feet on the ground that perfect foundation beneath you you no longer need that support and you will no longer be allowing in the difficulties that have created the need for that in the first place i hope that's making sense for you all i'm just going to repeat that part if you're able to let go of the identity what you're actually doing is clearing the need to have a support system 
to have a um, to have something that keeps you safe from challenges in your life. But what you're actually doing inadvertently is clearing away the part of you that allows those challenges in in the first place, right? Because every challenge and difficulty has been created from this space, from the space of identity. We were born free from limitations. Perfect. And let's intend that we can be free from limitations right now and that you will find that perfect next person to take you on that journey. That's wonderful. Perfect. Thank you so, so much for sharing, Sophie. I hope that's landed for you and I hope that's landed for anybody else. Sharon says, you've almost made me cry. So spot on. I'm a spiritual Aquarian. I've had many blessings from the universe, but I just knew something I had not looked at was there. Yes, I know what my goal is working towards, but always seem to be further away. Oh, yes, I know that feeling for sure. I will sit and go back to my childhood and ask my guides also to help me clear that. Thank you so much for the blessings to you. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. I'm so glad and relieved that you've been able to have a shift. Um, please feel free to reach out to me if you'd like to um, explore this a little further. So thank you. Wonderful. Hey, haven't we as a group? Thank you for so many of you who've been here throughout the entire hour. We have a little further left, so I'm just going to see what else is there. Hi, Lisa. Perfect. Sue White and Sandy. Let me check in and see whether there's something to be cleared there for you. Perfect. So Sue, straight away, I'm seeing, um, it almost feels as though for you, I'm feeling actually a fair bit of anxiety. Um, and I've just put you in a safe space in order to receive. Um, so it feels like you may be actually watching this back later. Uh, but you, if you are watching it now, I hope you enjoyed that beautiful shift that we just did. But um, I, can, I could feel that there was a bit of hesitation around um, being able to go into a shift straight away. So if you are watching this replay, um, absolutely allow for that wonderful shift to come through. That's perfect. Similar thing, anxiety, worry. Sandy, let's see what is there for you. Thank you for joining us, Sandy. So what I'm really feeling and sensing for you is that there's an element of your being that you've been struggling to come to terms with. And I get a very strong intuitive sense about you really knowing what this is. So what I was feeling guided to offer you today is a bit of support around um, allowing for you to believe in the process of moving through this because it feels as though it's something that is so... Um, it's something that has been with you for such a long time, in a sense, and it's something that's so big, in a sense, even though I can see you've worked through so much already around believing within that. Um, what's beneath the surface of this is that you're just so ready and there's this element of frustration around being able to allow for the shift to happen. And... I see that you've been holding on quite tightly. It was as though I felt that there was a fair bit of constriction in the stomach area. Um, and I feel that you were holding on really tightly to allowing 
for this sort of shift to happen for you um, because you're wanting it to happen in a certain way and as long as it happens in this way then it's okay is, is what I see that your your um, your mind has been telling you so yes a huge part of that is supportive but there's an element of that that's allowing for you to rise above the deepest issue and the deepest issue for you feels as though it's connected to um, feeling at one with yourself. So interestingly enough, the foundation um, message is coming through for you as well. It's as though you've been worried about releasing, you know, all that it means to be safe and secure and supported in life because it's been working for you up until now and you're just struggling to be able to let that go because you want to keep moving forward with what you've learned so far. But what I'm seeing is that this is creating a blockage for you. So we want to allow for a new awareness to be able to come in for you and offer you the new space that you need to be able to move forward. So we're just clearing limitations beneath the surface for you around that. It feels like there are many, many, many limitations clearing for you. So just experience this in whatever way is perfect for you. But for the most part, I see for you, it's more just about sort of relaxing, relaxing into this space and just surrendering because your true self is offering this healing for you. And they've always got your back no matter what. And so the trick for you, Sandy, now that we've reaffirmed that belief that your true self has got you no matter what, now it feels as though we want to have a look at how can we break down the identity, the part of you that's been wanting to hold on to everything that you've learned up until now because it's safe. So for you, it's just about ensuring that you have the safety first from a surrendered space, from a space of truth, before you then go into having a shift. And once we've found that, it's like I see all of these beautiful little energetic beings just flowing in and tidying up and clearing up everything that there is to be cleared there so quickly. It's a light and effortless process. So for anybody that is interested in subconscious healing, this is a huge part of what I do because I'm not only clearing limitations beneath the surface, but I'm also clearing away, breaking down at your identity and clearing away the, the story from your past that is no longer serving you. And for some of you, you know, you may have learned something just yesterday that you need to let go of. And it may not seem like a harmful thing to hold on to that and keep it there for as long as it's working, but it may also be causing about 12 years of resistance in your life by holding on to that. You just don't know until you can explore with you know, the clarity that we're able to offer you in these subconscious healing sessions. So um, this is a huge part of what I do and probably the most important part. You know, there's so much more to healing than just clearing and healing. We need to be able to break down the part of us that wants to keep bringing our past into the forefront of our experience, because this is what allows us to believe that we need to revisit cycles and that, and that keeps us in the struggle and the pain and the, the desperation of needing to be free. You know, all of those things stem from having an ego mind present in the first place, having an identity and a part of ourselves that has created stories to live by. But the majority of these stories, they are all non-truth. They are not serving us. They are keeping us stuck. And this is, you know... This is something that it takes some time to get used to. But once you have found, you know, an, a, a way to be able to connect through with your truth and receive that integration in any given moment, then you have what you need to be able to continue moving forward. So even if there's then non-truth in your life, you can still move forward. It doesn't keep you stagnating. 
Perfect. So that feels really good for you, Sandy. Let me know how that went for you. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Deborah. Sandy, thank you. I lost my daughter in February and I'm hanging on tight to her. I know I should let her go so she can go higher. Thank you so much for sharing, Sandy. It makes perfect sense, right? That something so dear to us has been a struggle to let go of. And, you know, the complete truth for you is going to be that this process of letting go needs to happen in phases. Um, but what's so beautiful about this is that once you've been able to let go and allow for her to go higher, you're also allowing for yourself to go higher, if that makes sense. So there are whole new levels of communication that are there to be experienced with you and your daughter. And this is 100% possible for you. Um, it's just a matter of allowing it for it to be done in a safe way. So I would love to work with you. Please let me know, um, connect in with me if you'd like to explore this further because we can allow for this to happen for you. We can allow for this shift and this transformation to happen in a safe space and in a way that's going to ensure that, um, you know, you're honouring the presence of, of your daughter and, and also honouring yourself, you know, for whatever reasons you have um, you know, for, for being where you are. So thank you so much for sharing. And um, I really hope that we've been able to create a nice shift for you today. Um, that feels really, really super wonderful. And it's interesting because as I was tuning in for you, um, I was seeing all of these beautiful little sparks of light around um, your energy. So to me, that's just proof, you know, that there's beautiful guides watching over you and you know that um, once you do start um, you know connecting on a frequent basis um, with that that world in a place that makes sense to you um, you will absolutely have you know more and more of the perfect ways of being able to connect in with your daughter you feel um, Sandy just said she feels a lot lighter now and and yes it does make sense thank you again my pleasure Sandy absolutely thank you so much for being here and thank you Johanna it was so wonderful having you here thanks Kerry so great to have you as well um, it's been so wonderful having you all here I'm so sorry Stephanie we've run out of time for today um, but I would love to share um, I'm just sharing into the comments section the Subconscious Healing Expo booth. Um, the expo is going to be, I think, in about three weeks or so, three or four weeks. Um, so please connect in with us um, if you'd like to explore that. Um, and I'm also going to share my website um, and Facebook page. So I would love to connect with anyone who is interested in subconscious healing or who felt a connection today and is resonating with um, what I'm sharing and would like to explore this um, further, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, thank you everyone who has joined us. Um, I hope you have a beautiful, 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 beautiful day, beautiful weekend. And um, I, yes, really look forward to seeing you next week. Um, much love everyone. Oh, have a beautiful weekend. Stay safe and I look forward to seeing you soon.